Hello everyone. My goal for this project was to gain a better understanding of image processing and to incorporate a camera in a control system. One of the classic control projects out there is the ball and beam system, and people usually use ultrasonic sensors to determine the ball position. I thought it'd be fun to use a camera instead. My first step was deciding what image processing tool I should use. After doing some reading, it seemed like using OpenCV in Python was the way to go. After a while, I focused on two data sources, the OpenCV crash course on YouTube by Centex and the Pi image search blog post on ball tracking. After a bunch of playing around, I got some pretty satisfying results. You can see the ball's X position on the left. Once I had the ball position, all I had to do was get that information to the Arduino quickly and close the feedback loop. I set up a serial communication between Python and the Arduino using the Pi serial library. Next, I built the control loop itself. I chose a PID controller for simplicity. Initially, I went ahead with a PI controller, which gave really nice results. Next, after significantly lowering the integral portion and slightly increasing the derivative term to avoid excessive jittering, I got this. Now let's go over the code. I used the ball and beam project by Electro Noobs as a reference. I create a servo object and set up some parameters, and I command the servo to go to the horizontal position. I run this loop every one millisecond. I start by writing to Python that I'm ready to receive data, then wait until I get two bytes of data. Once I combine the two bytes to get the ball position, I implement the PID controller, then command the servo motor accordingly. Let's go over to the Python script. I set up the communication with the Arduino board and start the camera. Now in a loop, I read and process the images. I do some filtering, then find an estimate of the ball center position. Next, I wait to receive an OK from the Arduino to start sending the data. I send it in a format suitable for Arduino and print the ball position to the Python shell as well. That's it for this video. Hope you learned something. See you next time.